strategy continues to send vital COVID prevention materials to hospitals in southern Malaysia. Tima also supports ongoing mass vaccinations held by the Philippine government. I'm Sean Scanlon. This is Die Headlines. Let's get started. The pandemic in Malaysia has not yet eased, and the amount of medical care needs in each state continue to be tight. CG volunteers from all over the country continue to provide the most appropriate assistance to hospitals or clinics to meet their needs as soon as possible. Take a look. Volunteers prepare protective equipment, sort them, pack them, and send them to major hospitals as quickly as possible. COVID in Malaysia has not yet subsided, and Ziji Malacca chapter took the initiative to contact different hospitals in southern Malaysia. Hospitals in Moor, Tampin, Kota Tinggi, Klang, and Serabam have seen supplies sent to frontline medical staff for two consecutive months. This pandemic is very severe. Our central hospital in Narechi, Sambalan, has seen a new record number of confirmed cases. More than 1,000 people a day are confirmed with COVID, so we need a large amount of medical supplies. Thank you, Malacca Chapter, for helping us purchase a large batch of protective equipment, some tens of thousands of pieces of protective equipment. I hope that this protective equipment will enable our frontline medical staff to perform their tasks with peace of mind. In Parak's Kinta District, the health clinic has also been recruited by the government to become a quick screening station. Tents have to be set up temporarily and related medical equipment has to be mobilized. Volunteers are happy to support the frontline workers. We are very grateful to Pesatuan Zuchi for providing um, donations of oxygen concentrators and uh, Alatan alatan lain, uh, like uh, chairs and tables. So in that way, we can be able to pick up more easily those who are at risk of having severe COVID-19 disease. Non-governmental organizations donated five oxygen concentrators to our Red Crescent Society. Chiji is an international organization who took full responsibility for these oxygen concentrators. No matter where it is delivered, we all feel at ease. The pandemic caused anxiety for many people as well as medical care staff. Volunteers used love to help soothe these fears as they cheer on frontline staff. The recent pandemic in Penang, Malaysia has continued to rage and confirmed cases have been reported frequently in the community. This means the virus is lurking in the community, leading many residents to panic. Many people set up a voluntary disinfection teams to clean the community and restore a safe living space. Here's more. The pandemic in Penang continues to rage as confirmed cases have been reported one after another. Many confirmed patients who are asymptomatic or have mild symptoms are isolated at home, worrying residents living in the same community that the virus will spread at any time. A group of volunteers in Batu Lanchang, led by city councillor O A Tong, set up a voluntary disinfection team to disinfect public areas in the community. If there is a positive case in the apartment building, these managers will send me a message or a letter, and tomorrow we can do it for you. If they call someone outside to do a disinfection, they will charge a high price. Many building management can afford it, so they want us to help with this free disinfection. It is undoubtedly a high risk to enter a community where a confirmed case has occurred. Volunteers from the disinfection team are fully equipped to carry out disinfection work and conduct rapid screening tests for COVID every two weeks to prevent themselves from becoming a new source of infection. Now, to be honest, if we don't do disinfection, it might spread to other places. To prevent infection by the virus, we wear protective clothing and gloves. We wear this basic protection, and when it's done, we also perform full body disinfection. Every two weeks, we will do a rapid test to detect our own situation. Selangor volunteer firefighter Vincent Shah has been carrying out disinfection work across the country since last year. Every time he carries a disinfection spray machine weighing nearly 30 kilograms. Despite the physical strain, his desire to help others is strong. Our sterilizer plus sterilizing liquid is actually 28 kilograms. So we carry 28 kilograms on our backs and we wear airtight protective clothing. 
it's actually very difficult work. We used to have a teammate whose task was cleaning five floors, but when he disinfected to the third floor, he was already exhausted, and all his limbs are weak. Fortunately, we have a teammate from the paramedic ambulance team, and we gave him some oxygen on the spot, which allowed him to return to normal. Community disinfection work is not simple. Volunteers take risks to disinfect the community, hoping to provide a safer living environment for everyone and calm the panic of the people. They will help us. We will reach out to help them. Actually, we feel very happy because, after all, not everyone can do this disinfection work. We are very lucky we can touch so many people and have so many people join us in this disinfection operation. Our contribution is for all of society. We hope that this pandemic can cool down as soon as possible so that everyone can feel at ease and freely walk around. Zhang Ziyin, a six-year-old Ziji kindergartner in Kedah, Malaysia, learned the benefits of being a vegetarian when she was four years old after participating in the Veggie Planet. When she was five years old after participating in a vegetarian activity, she informed her family that she decided to go vegan. She also loves cooking very much, hoping to encourage her family to go vegetarian. Take a look. I must be worried that she will be malnourished because of her vegetarian diet. We ask those who have experience in eating vegetarian food how to supplement their nutrition. When my hand was cut, I saw that when animals were cut, they will also be very painful. If I eat the chicken, its mother will not find its children, and they will be sad, just like I would be sad and cry if I couldn't find my mommy. I want to cook a vegetarian nasi lemak today. I like cooking because I want the whole family to be vegetarian with me. Our nasi lemak is ready. I admire my daughter very much. She is very fun and insists on being a vegetarian. Even if there is meat or fish on our table, she won't eat it. She still continues to eat her vegetarian dishes. I like to eat sweet potato leaves and silang spinach. I post this picture to that my grandma cook vegetarian food, not meat dishes. Can I invite you to be vegetarian? Will you try to be vegetarian for a day? I think my daughter should be here to help our whole family. We used to eat a lot of fish and meat. We now eat more vegetarian food than meat. So we look forward to one day we can eat vegan with her. In May, Team of Philippines began supporting the government vaccinations at large vaccination stations. Over the past four months, has served hundreds of thousands of people. Recently, the second dose of the vaccine has been expanded. 
at the medical team is again very busy as there are many heartwarming stories to share. Take a look. Since the start of COVID, the Araneta Coliseum in the Philippines has been used as a large-scale vaccination station for several months. Every day, thousands of people come to get protection from the virus. My parents are getting older and the risk of catching the disease is also higher. As children, we must persuade them to get vaccinated. Carissa contracted the disease last year, but fortunately, she has recovered. Still, there was nothing she could do to get her parents to follow in her footsteps. I was infected with COVID-19 last year. Although it was mild, I felt a severe cough and had breathing difficulties for a whole month. Also, Filios Carlos, his father has mobility issues and he brought his father to get a vaccine. My father's health is a matter of great concern to me. That's why I want to take a leave of absence and personally brought him to get the vaccine. I'm afraid he would experience discomfort after the vaccination. This vaccination coincided with Tima's annual meeting. This year, due to the pandemic, the meeting was carried out on the Internet. A nurse named Michelle participates in the annual meeting every year. This year is no exception, and it just happened to be her birthday. For me, a birthday is a moment of gratitude. Being a volunteer on Mother's Day is my way of repaying my mother. She recently moved into the intensive care unit because of a COVID-19 infection. I would like to say that I came to be a volunteer to bless my mother so she can get well soon. To, to, to return the, the blessing. At the vaccination station, not only does Tima team take care of everyone's health, but they're also touching scenes of parent-child relationships. Digi volunteers in Hong Kong regularly care for homeless individuals, even during the pandemic. Before the Mid-Autumn Festival, volunteers especially brought vegetarian mooncakes to celebrate with the homeless so they don't feel lonely during the holiday. Here's more. The pandemic in Hong Kong is getting more stable. So the volunteers and employees of a hotel group went to Jim Sao Jay to care for homeless individuals regularly. I didn't expect there are so many homeless individuals in Jing Sa Dre. This is a very good opportunity for me to learn. I think it's the first time for me to come here. I didn't realize actually this we're doing this regularly, so it's very interesting and people are very nice actually, so thank you very much. Thank you. The visit in September coincide with the Mid-Autumn Festival. So apart from delivering hot food, volunteers also brought mooncakes and specially wrote a poem to encourage homeless individuals to change their eating habits. Vegetarian food is really good. We hope to let everyone know the benefits of going vegetarian, hoping that everyone adopt the vegetarian diet. I'm very happy tonight because I've met many good friends and had a dinner with them. Everyone was very happy. Then we stand together. This was a memorable moment in my life. In Guantan Public Pier, these wooden compartments are the places where homeless individuals stay. Volunteers lock on the door one by one to present gifts so that they can feel a trace of love in this reunion festival. When the 921 earthquake happened, Lil Ting's home in Nanto was destroyed. It was one of the reasons he was introduced to Ziji. In 2009, he was fired without notice, and with his wife's encouragement, he started visiting the recycling station. Meeting Ziji at every difficult turn really inspired him to become a full-time Ziji volunteer. When I was fired from work, I went to the employment office 
and learned some culinary skills, which included dough work. The disaster was really unforgettable. Everything collapsed. It was terrible. One day, Tsuji brought eight items to my house, and when I saw them in their blue and white uniform, I didn't know they were Tsuji volunteers. They brought out a box of bread, and I took a picture of the container. And it was later that I discovered it said Tsuji. Then they built the Dai homes, and slowly I came to get to know Tsuji. <laughs> the recycling station is really suitable for me. The brothers and sisters here, especially the elderly people, are here just to serve others and care about one another. I see that he's enjoying what he's doing. He's happy to have something to do there. That's all that matters. If I didn't join Siji, I would still go about living my days. But when you join Siji, you'll come into contact and will experience many different situations. Sorting recycling, being a Siji volunteer, it's another choice in life. Honestly, with the accumulated days of being immersed in Dharma wisdom, I feel like I've continued to grow. Gymnast Tang Jia Hong received seventh place in the Olympic men's artistic individual all around. This advancement was supported by NTNU's Department of Physical Education and Sports Sciences professional counseling. And devices such as sensors, with these pioneering technologies, the athlete was able to have better stability while landing and have a faster spin while airborne. Within a leap, the athlete grabs on two to three meter high horizontal bar. Athlete Tang Jiahong then goes on to display a series of difficult moves, shocking our reporter. Reaching seventh place in the Olympics, men, artistic, and individual all around, Tang Jiahong was supported by sports technology as he trained with a device called Eccentric. This improved his stability while landing. Every athlete here has a landing move, and this landing move can be trained by our Eccentric device. It trains the athlete in a good direction. So this type of training is applied to Jiahong. When he lands on a backflip, he will feel easier doing so. The force of impact while landing is massive. Therefore, the use of eccentric to train can increase the athlete's lower limb endurance. It also increases the athlete's performance and ability to control, making landing easier. In 2019, Tang Jiahong has a perfect landing rate of 36.3%. As of 2021, it increased to 72.7%. Landing is actually very important in all six events. If I land properly on every event, I will have a better confidence. So by training my strength this way, I can have more confidence while landing. We call it proprioception. In simpler terms, it means while we're out of vision, or when we can't see, we will know how to use our fingers to touch or move. This is called proprioception. Gymnastics requires to be airborne, so proprioception is required for athletes, since they will have to be more in control of their body stability. For example, during Jia Hong's Yamawaki move and horizontal bar moves, he presses onto the horizontal bar. This move is also very technical. With Jia Hong's power,
he can actually go upside down and press with both hands. The eccentric machine trains the muscle's endurance and power, though it may seem easy while Jia Hong is standing on it. It is certainly hard for a reporter, as the difficulty was lowered for her. Afterwards, she felt pain in knees and legs. I know on the eccentric machine, it trains our lower limb muscles. We just saw Jia Hong's training on this device. It was very smooth. But when I'm trying this, I found out that it's hard to control and requires a lot of force. Attaching the sensor to Tang Jiahong's body, researchers are able to know the force of impact while he backflips and lands. The spin speed can also be calculated. If we shake the sensor, we can see the signals. Different colors represent different axes. This is his speed. This is the angular velocity, so we will know when he spins, different angles will generate different angular velocities. Actually, sensors like this have been applied to the national security industry in Taiwan, attached to missiles and airplanes as it calculates the rotation status and force of impact. The same device can be applied to gymnastic athletes, breaking the norm of video recordings since the system can analyze footage and calculate speed. This is to understand athletes' airborne spin with accurate data. This part is different for every athlete. The moves are different too. So normally we will have models and have a dedicated range. This is to determine if the performance is good or not. We also hope that athletes can reach our range during their training session. Gymnastics is a sport that focuses on the flow. From start to end, there can be no breaks and repetitions. So before doing high difficulty moves, it is important to keep stability, make no mistakes, and do numerous practices in order to elevate one's focus. There are two factors that can distract athletes. One is distraction from the outer part, like the audience. The other part comes from the inside of the athlete, which is the athlete himself. For example, an athlete might have a high expectation, and with a small mistake, the mistake will go on to affect his focus. Research shows that imaginary training helps athletes execute high-difficulty moves, that is, a move that an athlete never tried before, yet they create an experience through their minds. For example, when you're training high difficulty moves, we can imagine those moves in our mind, and to think about how to move, like imagining a role. When we start to have a clear image in our mind, it's more helpful to us when we execute the move. Sports science not only assists with athletes' physical fitness, tactics, and technique trainings, it also helps elevate athletic performance and mental stability, further exploring the athlete's potential. The Zijie Academy of Humanistic Studies in Richmond, Canada has a farm which has recently been used as a nature classroom, promoting parent-child experiences, bringing them closer together. I leave you with these images. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.